Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming Floor. Today in this Unturned Map Better tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail the police buildings. Now, the way to find these buildings, if you just search up police in the editor, it'll be police number one, which is this one over here, and police number two, which is actually the jail. They both do contain a jail, though. So, pretty much today I'm going to be showing you guys mostly how to detail this building, but I will do one jail cell for you guys because they're pretty repetitive and pretty common. Maybe I'll do a second because there are some variations you can do. And then maybe just a few things you can put inside the corridors, but uh, mostly the jail building is pretty simple. So, we do have quite a lot of materials that we can decorate the police uh, number one building with. So, obviously there's a lot of them here, and I'll just go over their names as I start to use them. So, uh, let's start with one of the easiest parts, uh, the actual jail cell. Now guys, this doesn't have to be used as a jail cell. It is just really classic that people use it as a jail cell just because it's got like the jail sort of bar windows and you know, it's sort of like a small little room in the back. So that's how I'm sort of going to be treating it. Uh, if you guys didn't want to use it like a jail cell, you could put, you know, filing cabinets and extra office back there, something like that. Um, you know, you can obviously decorate it however you guys want. So, this is the first object you're going to want to use around this area. It's called jail door number one. And there's a couple options you can do with this. You can just leave it just like that. Um, you know, this can also be flipped around. It looks a little awkward the way it is. It is obviously meant to be used the other way. Uh, gosh dang, screwed it up. But, uh, so there's a couple options. You can either leave the door on the jail, or you can have it off and sort of on the ground. Those are both very popular either way it doesn't really matter um, obviously if the door's on you can't get inside the jail room and you know obviously there won't be any item spawns in there so it makes it a little easier on you but it does restrict the map a little bit Other otherwise you can just uh, have it open and you can get inside it so that's pretty much the only difference there so inside the jail cell if you are treating it like a jail cell generally you're going to want to use bed number three and that's this bed right here now it is obviously very very cramped in here so uh, one of the best options is to turn the bed sideways and have it against the wall of course it's okay that it's cramped it's a jail cell it's not supposed to be really really nice um, you can put two of these beds in here if you really want to it obviously gets really cramped. Uh, it's a little hard to get in the doorway, but I think maybe in PI in Washington it's like this. So if you guys wanted to, you could just leave it detailed like this. If you wanted to make it a little more uh, quality detailing, you could pull the bed away, let us grab maybe a side table, make it more of a nicer quality jail cell, which seems kind of weird because obviously the people in there are in jail for a reason. But some places actually do treat their prisoners really well. So obviously if you want that to be your type of town, you can do this. Um, I'm just going to snug the bed up to it so you know we don't waste much space. But pretty much on that little extra side table, you can put maybe a lamp. Uh, you can put books, newspaper, chess. Chess would be a good one. It keeps, some, it keeps them uh, entertained, I guess, in jail. In terms of the rest of this space, guys, there's really not much room in here. Um, and I'll, get a, I'll grab a chess board chest number one. I'll also grab a newspaper because those slipped my mind when I was preparing items for this. Okay, so let's put a chess board in there. Uh, I'm not going to put it on the table itself just because it is decently detailed with the one lamp on it. I'll put it in the middle of the floor just in the open space just to sort of fill it up make it more interesting. Also guys, as you're filling this space with item spawns and stuff, obviously make them jail related, but also consider putting some zombie spawns in here because it does make this area much more interesting. If it's empty, you actually give the player time to look around and sort of judge it, but if you've got a couple zombies in there, they're going to have to kill them. You know, it makes it more interesting and exciting. So for the rest of this area, I do have quite a lot of items out here. So one of the common setups I've seen is using counters inside there. So I'm going to use a uh, counter, let's see, which one is this? Counter number one. Uh, it's one of the wood ones. Generally, these look pretty nice. Uh, you can go with the metal ones as well. Really doesn't matter. I'm going to use the snap transform to arrange these nicely. And I'm just going to fill this row back here. Um, I think I will put, I'll snug it up to the wall as well. But I think I will put a sink somewhere in here. So I think I'll put a sink right there. 
So let me grab that sink, and this is counter number two. For those of you that are wondering, so I'm going to use the control B, control N method, and line that up. And so now we've got a nice sort of eating area, sort of a chill spot. Doesn't necessarily have to be for eating. Uh, something if you do put those counters down, you can use this coffee machine that is pretty classic for uh, police officers to drink coffee. Of course, I'll make it a little off center just to make it look more, a little more natural. So for the rest of the space, this does actually take up quite a bit of room because you do have to leave the front of it open, but we do have a lot of space in here left. So one thing that is pretty common as well is having a wardrobe or a shelf number three. So either of the wardrobes work actually, number one or number two. But I'm just going to choose number one because it matches, uh, well actually it doesn't really match that well, but it really doesn't matter guys, it's your preference. Uh, they're both going to do the same job. So it is pretty common also to have some sort of wardrobe on this wall or some sort of shelf like shelf number three. That also fills up this little space right here. We're still left with a lot of space here though and the last thing that is usually found inside a police office is some sort of table. Um, yeah, pretty much just some sort of table. Usually it's metal but uh, table wood number one, table wood number two would work as well. So I'm just going to go with the metal one because that's usually found most often. And there's actually enough room to put probably two tables in here still. It's going to be a little cramped, but police offices usually are when you find them in like PEI and stuff like that. So in terms of how far they are away from the wall, uh, you know, it's really your preference. You can move them away so like there's a little more walking space. You can snuck them right up to the wall. It really doesn't matter. Um, besides the table, I'm going to put a metal chair to match. Obviously, I'm matching the types of table with the types of chair. Uh, that is just a styling preference. If you don't want to do that, don't feel like you have to do that. But there are the other types of chairs, chair wood number one and chair wood number two there as well. So obviously, since we have the tables now, there are a few things you can put on them. One that's pretty classic is putting a computer set. So I'm going to put computer number four which is the monitor of the computers and I'll put computer number five since it matches really it's another preference thing colors don't really matter that much you know they'll break if you shoot them they don't really have a use it's just decoration uh, for the other one to mix it up just a little bit I'm gonna put this laptop which I think is computer number three uh, it's hard to see on this one because it is a small object if you hover over it it doesn't tell its name oh yeah it does uh, right there in the center, computer number three. So I'm going to put that laptop there. I'm also going to put a telephone uh, because it is realistic that police officers would have a telephone somewhere around their police station, you know, because 911 calls, somebody's got to answer that. Um, also, uh, a few other things we can decorate with. Obviously, there's other types of computers, but there's also filing cabinets. So if you're having trouble filling space, you can put a row of filing cabinets, you know, on a wall. If you don't want to fill all this up with counters, we could potentially move these down quite a bit. Uh, obviously, you know, they're inside each other. But if you're just going to ignore that for a second, we could put, you know, a line of filing cabinets inside the police station. That is pretty common. Obviously, police officers have to keep records on what criminals there are about, you know, what they've done, who they're looking for, stuff like that. So filing cabinets would not be out of place either. And you could place them on this wall as well. Pretty much just depends on how you want to fill the space. So this is a pretty good way to do a police office. Um, obviously, if you put a round table, it's a little more relaxed. These black tables with computers, you know, a little more serious. Uh, round table, you're going to have multiple chairs. You could put like a newspaper on it. You could also have some sort of television. Television number one, which is a huge flat screen, is going to be a little overkill. Uh, the space is not that large, but you could fit it in there. Television number two is definitely a little better. It's kind of old fashioned, but you could make it work, I'm sure. Also, another option is you could have a cooler in there. So possibly instead of having these filing cabinets, you could make it more of a complete kitchen and you could put a cooler in there. You know, uh, obviously police officers, when they're on the job, they want something cold to drink occasionally. So, you know, this would work. So it really just depends. Uh, you could also put a fridge there. I just thought cooler is a little less kitchen-like and, you know, it, it looks a little better. So that's pretty much it for this building. Um, there's a couple more things. There's lamp. Which lamp is this? Lamp number two. 
Uh, lamp number one was the one inside there, the little table lamp. Uh, you could put this lamp pretty much anywhere in here. Um, I'm going to save that though. I'm going to place it in one of the cells in the other place. There's also light number one. Uh, pretty much how you want to arrange this is up to you. Uh, it's one of those pattern things. You can put these lights in whatever pattern you want, center them however you want. You don't even have to have them. It looks fine without them. But if you do want to add that extra level of detail, go ahead and add those. Also, you can put a clock on the wall. And that's pretty much all I can think of for the police station. And that's pretty well detailed. If you look in there, it's not too cluttery, but there's a lot going on. Lots of places for item spawns to hide and stuff like that. So let's move on to one of these jail cells. Now, obviously, these are jail cells. They've got the barred windows and everything. And, you know, it's pretty much repeated. It's very, very similar. It's kind of a boring building, actually. There's not much going on, but there are some ways you can make this more interesting. So let's start by how to decorate the halls. So I've got bench wood number one. This is the best way I've found to decorate these halls. They're pretty bare. Really, you don't have to have anything in them. Most of the time, they are just empty. So, you know, this is obviously a bonus. Extra detail points for you, I guess. So, um, you know, I wouldn't put these everywhere. But if you have an occasional wooden bench, it does look pretty nice. And, it, you know, it's just an extra place to sit. You could also put clocks in here and posters. Uh, poster number one, I think it is. It's a good item. Yeah, so poster number one. Um, it is a little decorative for a jail cell, or a, a jail in, in particular. So if you guys think it's a little overboard, a little unrealistic, you can obviously get rid of that. Jails are meant to be pretty plain. So I'm going to model this jail cell uh, like a classic jail cell should be. I'm going to grab this bed number three because we're going to use reuse that. And um, these are actually a little larger, so we can fit two of these in here very comfortably without really uh, pushing the space limit. Let's copy-paste that, put one on the other side. And guys, the layout for these is going to be very, very basic. There isn't that much room, and, you know, people are not expecting to find super fancy stuff inside a jail cell. That's just the reality of it. So you can put um, some of these small tables. I think this is table wood number three. Uh, there's also table wood number four that doesn't have the white legs. It's just a different styling, essentially the same thing. So this is a good way of just, you know, setting up the room. Obviously, you can put uh, the small table lamp, table lamp, uh, whichever one this is. I think it's number one. You can put the small table lamp on here and obviously orient it uh, the way that you want. You can also put books in here. So, um, you know, it just decorates the space a little better. Uh, makes it more realistic. Obviously, the inmates are going to want to do something, and reading is a pretty good option. Uh, you can also put chests like we did in the other room, also newspapers, you know, just basic stuff to keep the inmates busy. So there's a few other uh, different types that you can do for these areas. Obviously, you can put a wardrobe in these rooms. Uh, it depends where you want it. You could put the wardrobe instead of those little side tables, or you could put them in addition to Either way, I wouldn't put too much stuff in there though. These are supposed to be jail cells. Not much in here for you know the inmates to keep themselves busy. Now, of course, um, I am forgetting one of the most important parts, the jail door. So let me get one of those here. Um, obviously, most of these jail cells are going to be closed in real life. But if something happens, you could have a lot of them open. You could have them on the floor. You could have them open like this so you can get in them, you know, barely scoot in there. Either way, uh, it's pretty much up to you guys how you want to decorate that. So that's pretty much the classic jail cell. That gives you a good idea of how to, you know, detail these. This one's a little fancy. Obviously, you can have different levels of detail inside them. So there's one other option that you can, or probably two actually, uh, there's a bunch of crates here, and so what you can do is use one of these rooms as a storage room. This is a good way of breaking up the monotonous uh, jail cells where it's just a couple cots, a couple uh, you know, shelves or something like that. It's a good way to break that up and give your map a little more detail. Now obviously I don't have that much time to randomize this properly and make it look really nice, but uh, definitely placing stacks of crates in here in one of them at least is going to liven up and make your jail a little more original. 
so this is a good option to set it apart obviously you can put uh, other types of storage in here as well different types of shelves let's see let's get up some shelves here so shelf number one would be good uh, it's more of a hardware type shelf you can put some good spawns on there also shelf number three would be good as well because that's the classic bookshelf type thing so either way however you want to detail this area is going to work as well uh, something else that you can do is put some of these cardboard boxes these definitely fit with the sort of storage room feel because you know they are cardboard boxes and you know they just look good good decoration good detail so obviously randomize those place them around however you want so anyway guys uh, there's only one other option and that would be a security guard break room now I sort of came up with this idea myself I've not seen this put in place in any jail building like this uh, especially the one in PEI they had the break room as a separate building but you can put these inside there so uh, a good way to start that is put some sort of table table wood number two is always a good option it's pretty it's a pretty good community table nice and open lots of spaces for chairs so then you're gonna wanna put some sort of chair I'm gonna put chair wood uh, whichever number this is I think it's number one pretty sure it's number one either way number two would work as well um, but yeah place these chairs around it however many you want it really just depends on how you want to fill up the space so something else you can do is similar to this police area you can grab a cooler and you can have a cooler in there it's always good to have refreshments you know it's pretty realistic uh, I'm sure real life uh, jails have good refreshment rooms uh, something else you could do is you could put some counters down these are never out of place uh, they usually fit in most buildings actually and yeah that's pretty much it um, that would definitely finish out this decoration area pretty well so there's your three basic types of jail rooms you've got the break room sort of lounge area and then you've got the classic jail cell and then you've got storage uh, also in this break room you could put some sort of couch and television that would work as well obviously they're not that huge and there isn't that much space so you just have to watch how much space you're using and whether it's gonna feel alright but that's pretty much it for this unturned map writer tutorial so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and learned something and liked the video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more I will see you all later